Hello guys, welcome back to 1878 Blues. Everton have managed to pick up the first win of the season after beating West Ham United 1-0. Thanks to a Neil Mopey goal, which is I'll get to it in a bit, but yeah, brilliant, brilliant day. Um a result we've been craving for. Um it was starting to get to the point where we was a bit like, right, when is the first win gonna come? You know, it's been positive in the sense of us fans of seeing a team in the past four throughout the season to be honest play really well and um, a lot better than what we used to see and a lot more organized hard to beat i have put still with a second joint most uh, least conceded goals um in the whole of the premier league so it's um it's fantastic and we've kept another clean sheet again today, two and two now. Um you know, the, with the likes of Begovic in goal and Pickford out. You know, I, I, I mean I don't really mind Begovic to be honest. I actually think he's a still a very decent goalkeeper. Um so, you know, there's not many teams who've got a second option goalkeeper who is as good as Begovic. Um so we're lucky in that respect and listen it's it's a it's a much needed win. And it's there's so many positives you can take from this game, um, but the game when you look at it, it was just it was either a one nil or a nil nil or whatever. You know what I mean? It was just one of them games. It was a big battle in midfield, um, but a lack of quality going forward defensively. Both teams are sound, but that's like I said, reasoning for. The lack of quality going forward which surprised me with West Ham with how much they've spent but like a lot of players and a lot of few players coming into the team in any team some gel quicker than others West Ham seem like they've still got a bit of work to do to keep to get them players you know gelled into the squad um, and get them firing and I think West Ham won't be there for much longer perfectly honestly like they've got a very good squad um, I've seen room, not rumours, West Ham fans calling Dave Moyes to, you know, to, to leave the club and he's stinking the place out. I don't think that's the case. I think the players need to step up, to be honest. Um, and yeah, it was a game of, very, you know, very few chances, clear cut chances. Um, you know, we had, we didn't really create that much, to be honest. Um, it was just a lot of balls where I noticed throughout the game um, that we didn't tend to. The final pass was just horrendous. Um, the crosses going into the box were just over hit. Um, and it was just easy for West Ham, to be honest. But in the middle, you know, Onana, Jessica Gay went on the ball, controlling the midfield with a Wobi just dropping off, uh, not dropping off. You know, dropping off from the, the attacking front, um, trying to find that, that space to just create something, you know, to give Onara, a gay, Kobe, Tarkovsky, and the wing backs, you know, some something to, to lead on to. Um, and I think Kawobi did very well again today, possibly man of the match again. And yeah, it was, uh, it was just, yeah, it was a real tasty fair the first half. West Ham had a, a number of corners, but nothing really troubled either side at all. Um, yeah, I can't even recall any many chances to be honest. In the first half, there was nothing really. It was nothing really for me to comment on. It was just quite a lackluster first half. But like I said, just a battle. Um, I think his name's Liam Hankin. There's a 34th minute clap. I've not seen much of the news, to be honest, but um, I think his name's Liam Hankin. And much respect to all the fans clapping, where, you know, a member of the family or people who knew the person who unfortunately passed away, he was 34. Um, hence why he clapped in the 34th minute. You know, they asked for the fans to clap, and, you know, it's really good that that message and social media has got spread across and the fans managed to do something like that for them. But yeah, going back to the game, like first half, 
it is what it is. Um, so we start with Begovic, Patterson, uh, Tarkovsky, Cody, Michalenko, uh, with the mid midfield three. Basically, I think it was the, it was the lineup I predicted. But you know, I don't think many fans would have got it wrong. You know, the Wobi, Onana, and Gay is the you know the three in midfield which we've all been looking forward to see. And then you had the Marty Gray, Gordon, and uh, Mopey. Second half, I said very similar first five minutes of the, from the first half. Um, both tr both teams trying to make something happen, nothing really paying off at all. Um, and I, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, in the 52nd minute, uh, Paul, the ball's getting played around. Not much too pressure on us to you know to lose the ball from West Ham, you know. Um, it comes out wide to, um, I think it was Damari Gray. Um, and I know, I think I know, I passed it to Awobi. Awobi drives it forward. Awobi kind of started the whole progressive move um, from there off. And it comes back to Awobi, drives it forward, passes it to, to Mo Pei. Apparently, it's the first bad touch from what I could see. I think he meant it, but. Yeah, we don't know. Um, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank said it was a bad first touch, but then, luckily for him, it was a good, you know, it was good for him because the ball bounced off and no pace struck it beautifully. But, you know, a volley right into the corner, um, bottom corner, bottom right corner, um, or bottom left corner from our view. Um, yeah, just a brilliant goal made off for Mope. Um, I think he played really well against Liverpool. Should have, you know, converted, but it was always a tough game to, to get into. Um, not many chances for either, you know, for Everton against Liverpool. But yeah, he took his chance today, and that's all that matters. You know, he was a nuisance again, running around, um, holding the ball really well, which is something you know we used to we see from Dominic Cavalier, but he's got a bit more speed about him. No pain, in a sense, like he's got lower sense of gravity because he's smaller. It just works in a different way for us, and it was really good. Um, yeah, made up for him. Great goal. Didn't expect it to be honest. And yeah, that that was it. That after that, you know, we was it kind of gave us confidence. Um, we, we was driving at him. Um, yeah, we was just driving for. Sorry, I'm just watching a women's game here. Liverpool versus Chelsea, and Chelsea got a penalty after the first minute. Unlucky the Reds. <laughs> um, but yeah, brilliant, um, brilliant goal. And like I said, you know, we just started, the game started opening up, of course, because West Ham are like obviously behind now. They don't want to be in the relegation zone, don't want another defeat. Um, and the game opened up was just, like I said, wasn't crazy amount of chances. It was just, there was chances for teams to, to do something. But both teams, like I said, lacked the third, um, the final pass. But a couple of chances to note, you know, a few corners come in. I think one of the, who was it, who headed on, could have been Su Suchet who come on. Um, he's always a danger against us. He's already scored against us twice, I think. Um, heads it and it goes wide, just wide. Uh, Maxwell Corney come on, had a great chance, should have hit it low. Um, end up hitting the goalkeeper. That was about the last seven minutes of the game. Uh, we had Ben Rama with the best chance of the game, cutting onto his left foot, whipped it. Didn't know there was a deflection, but there was, and um, hits the post and somehow doesn't go in. Um, that's the only time he really looked like we got beaten. With the corner chance as well, um, there was a you know there was the first time the player going behind us. Uh, Tarkovsky and Cody just not you know I wouldn't say not concentrating but maybe maybe a lack of concentration for a split second and you know Co uh, Corny's through and Tar Cody's beaten swings a leg completely misses it uh, but Patterson comes out of nowhere who I thought was absolutely brilliant today Patterson absolutely brilliant he's been looking forward to seeing him play for us since we signed him and obviously was in a tough situation when he when he joined us and he ended up um, getting injured and 
this is the first time we've seen them play consecutively for us. Like, and in a you know in a reset in a reset star for us, um, I thought it was brilliant. But you got a toe poke on it, and it went wide. So, yeah, brilliant. But yeah, off and puff the rest of the game. Um, we had a few chances going forward. I thought the core they really come on, really bang average for this passion was horrendous. And so many times he he picked the wrong pass, overhit the pass. He just looked too excited. Uh, I don't know what it was up with him, to be honest. He didn't look great when he came on. Um, but yeah, a much needed three points for us. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, and now we're 13th. Seven points after seven games. Not a bad start at all. Not a bad start at all. And hopefully, after the international brief now, which is frustrating, um, we can get players back like Pickford will probably be back Dominic Carver-Lewin will be back because he was res he rested today um, I think there was no point throwing him right back in uh, just seeing his injury his injury record and think don't be rushing him in you know what I mean just you got an international break after this we'll deal with today and then throw him back in but then would you replace Mope now he's looked very lively and effective when he's been playing in his first two games for Everton so Many decisions for Frank Lampard to, to make after the international break, but yeah, brilliant win overall, and we can move. Um, so yeah, if you can like, comment, subscribe, um, share this video, give your reaction to the video, um, of the game and what you you know, yeah, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all of that, social media jazz, um. Yeah, I'm out next time you see me. I don't know, unless there's other news. Maybe I have to think of some video to, to do. Um, I'll just have to see. But, yeah. I don't think I'll be seeing you in two weeks, though. I think I'll make another video in that time, or a few. But, yeah, anyway, I'm out. See you later.